Hey, welcome to the National Meat Treasure Podcast with your host, Billy Crystal. Billy Crystal? God. <laughs> Why was that the first thing to come to mind? I have no idea. We should- with your host, the, the only God, Joe Pesci. <laughs> That's who I am. I'm, that works. That works for me. I'm going to start taking like bets or guesses at like who you're going to be on every episode. Like, should take like a poll. It's everywhere. Um, I am Joey, aka Saint Thriller. Um, what's up, guys? What's going on? <laughs> what's up, guys? Hanging out. Happy Halloween weekend. Even though we record twice Holy in the weekend, shit. but uh, yeah, we're gonna be. Recording. What are you? What yeah. are you guys dressing up as? Uh, ready for the wholesome vibes? Jesus Christ! Uh, we are dressing <laughs> all four of us. Uh, and well, the dog we couldn't find uh, the the costume, but. Uh, all four of us are dressing up as astronauts, and I have a red wagon that I'm outfitting uh, like a rocket if I have time. If not, they're just going to sit in a fucking wagon. That's enough for them. Uh, but we got the dog a hot dog costume because that was all we could find. But we're here. <laughs> hot, dog. hot dogs in space. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? You should say that every uh, time somebody Are you doing it. anything for um, Or are you just like... Uh, Nah, Past I'm, the age, uh, right? I'm wanting to ever do something like that. I'm just, uh, I, I work that day, you know, on ho- on Halloween. I, I work, uh, this is the middle of my work week right now, so um, I'm going to get home and then probably just, you know, just doing regular shit, you know. I'll see a lot hey. of people in cool costumes while I'm at work, I'm sure, which is going to be dope. We're not allowed to dress up anymore um, at, at my job. <laughs> that's, a, that's a weird stance to take. Why? I don't I don't know what uh what happened. I'm I'm pretty sure there's just a lot of people who just couldn't handle it. Um, you know, couldn't really be responsible and had to be extra. White people ruined it. Say it. Say some well, white I person mean, had some offensive costume. Somebody I, walked in was, with like a bandolero and just like started saying tacos. Like <laughs> <laughs> I remember actually when I was uh working at this one place, this kid uh came in dressed as the flash, but like it was a fire super tight form fitting flash and he had like this crazy hey. bulge, and we sent him home hey. to go change and he was like i can't be in this. why'd you send him home it was like it's what we had to we let the shmeet we let like, the shmeet be strong get the fuck out <laughs> the fuck <laughs> nah man let's just let's just let him hang bro like i feel like no uh, i don't know where like genital shame came from but uh like i'm bored of it like genital i know shame. everyone has titties i know everyone has dicks pull them out bro just pull them out does everybody have Titties and dicks? Well, I mean, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. We all, we're all wearing clothes that's, like that's fucking actually, idiots. That's, oh, that's actually a, a good question. Like, do does everyone have the right to have their balls out? Or do we have the right to not have to see anyone's balls? Like, Ooh, that's a good point. Well, I mean, that's the society we've created, right? Because, like, we all know, you know, that we have genitals, right? But, like... Like, for example, like, there could be another dimension out there where people are really disgusted by fingers and everyone has to wear gloves, but right. nobody wears pants. Actually, that dimension exists. It's called, uh, like, Mickey Mouse's universe. That nigga's not wearing pants, but he has right. gloves on all the time. Sure. <laughs> so, so there you go. What, what was that? What was that movie? It was, um, it was a parody on, on Signs. And it was uh, Scary Movie 3. Scary movie three, and he puts his finger. Uh, the alien puts his finger in the guy's mouth, and yeah. he's like, "Oh, that's how we say hello. Say hello, and uh, that's also how we pee." And he starts starts pissing out of his hand. <laughs> so, <laughs> I like. Uh, I never saw I, that. I, I, you no, know, that's it's a really <laughs> stupid scene, it was, it was and nice. it's it's just something obviously like what like stuck in my head ten years later. Yeah. Like I'm still like laughing at that dumb joke. It's, it's also where we pee, and he just points his fucking stupid <laughs> finger. Oh, God. It, it, they made fun of 8 Mile in that movie as yeah. well, didn't they? Yeah, that was the yeah. one. That was the one, yeah. He was supposed to be a rabbit. Yeah. Uh, it... <laughs> that was a fun one. It got, it got weird. It was a... Anthony uh, Anthony Anderson? Yeah, he was, he was in it. Kai Pfeiffer. He was future. Yeah, he was Kai Pfeiffer. You're right. Kevin Hart uh, was Look in at it. that. Kevin Hart was in it. Shit. Years ago. I don't remember Kevin Hart. I don't remember Car- Kevin Hart in that. What was he? What was he doing? You know what? I could be mistaken though. Um, it could be, but I just remember there being the him him being in the conversation where he's I think arguing with like 
Anthony Anderson, and he's like, "Nigga, how you wake up dead?" And he's like, "It is, it is, it is, it is Kevin Hart. Like, he it is Kevin he Hart. It's like he woke up dead. Uh, it is Kevin Hart. I remember his specifically uh, because of how small he was yeah. compared yeah, to Anthony yeah, yeah. Anderson. Yeah, yeah. But really, but, but uh, like, to uh, circle if, back yeah, to Halloween. Want to see balls. What if I don't want to see balls? I mean, you don't want to see balls in this reality, but I'm saying, like, there could be a reality out there where no, balls yeah, are I'm, just very I'm normal sure. to see. Was, or, like, a, a shift change in, like, like in the next thousand years, I'm sure, like... Yeah, but... You know what's weird? You know what's so weird? What? Like, the I, fact, don't, I don't want to see balls now. Or do I have to endure some... You've been conditioned before? not to want to no, see no, balls. No, that doesn't matter. Mm. It doesn't matter. I can show you balls. You still have an, uh, a feeling about what you want and want to do. You know, like... You don't work at certain jobs because you're like, fuck that. I don't want to do that job. So who, what's more important? My right to not see balls or my right to show my balls? What do you, what do you, uh, <laughs> from a moral standpoint, you know? These are the philosophical like, questions you guys come here for. <laughs> this is, uh, it, it's the alternate version to uh, twist the sisters. We're not going to take it. Um, and uh, it's just everybody showing off their balls. I don't know, man. That's a, that's a good, like, like, what's more important? That's a good question. Like, Trump, I mean, I I, I don't know. Like Trump, I don't want to see balls. You're saying, um, you know, like, but no, I do. We we know we have titties. We know we have balls and dicks, right? You show them all, right? Everybody's walking around. But what if I don't want to see balls all day? What if I'm distracted? All right. Well, I'll I'll give it to you like this, right? Areolas. Well, I'll give it to you Ooh. like this. I hate ugly people. I'm very shallow. I will have negative feelings towards you. If you are hideous, right. but I got to look at ugly motherfuckers all day. <laughs> so what's more important? Should they cover up their face or should I just stay inside and stare at mirrors? Um, I guess we could do that too. Ugliness depends on your opinion, which you can't like put it. So do the opinion of balls. You can't hate every pair of balls, bro. You can't hate every single one of them. No, it, but it's not what about... if you see a tight pair of balls, like a taut, like nice package? <laughs> Smooth like, as eggs. Just, uh, <laughs> <laughs> just collagen right into my balls every week it's just i keep these things beautiful Damn. like no um no i don't know man i got really fucking giant balls so i i mean it's hard to hide them um it's uh i i feel constrained you know you ever um, find yourself watching porn and go that guy's got a nice dick damn and then you're like, wait. Yeah. And then you're just like, want to jerk off anymore. You're like, what the fuck's trying to say? <laughs> or you just continue jerking off and you go, you know what? You, fuck it, hole. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the bro, Jake. Shout out to the god, Jake. Thank you for that. Scanting um, over zeros is also a favorite. Justin, you had said, uh, circling back to Halloween, you want to talk about something Halloween related? Oh, yeah. Like, I feel like adults, I feel like maybe this is only in the 20s, but I feel like. You should just do drugs on Halloween. Like, I feel like that's the yeah. time where, like, even if you don't do drugs, you should be doing drugs. It's the nice, it's nice weather for drugs. Um, you know, everyone's in slutty outfits and in costumes, so obviously that heightens the drugs. You should be like, if listeners. I mean, even though this episode doesn't come out until like Tuesday and Halloween will be over, but you know, you might have your <laughs> your following weekend next plans. Um, do do some drugs. Do some drugs on Halloween because that's what it's for. I won't be doing drugs. I will. I don't know if I work tomorrow. Um, if I don't, I might break out some lipstick, do a little Pennywise on the face, and hit the town. But, hey. uh, <laughs> That's I'm cool. likely working. Even if I'm working, I'll probably do that anyway, because I told my kid I'd, I'd be Pennywise. So That's dope. You know, and that's what it's about. You know, I, Honestly, um, I don't know. Uh, when I was uh, single, had no kids, uh, yeah, I was debaucherous and would get drunk all night and just have fun. And, I mean, I, I can re recall a lot of times you and I uh, Justin at Union Square getting way too fucking stupid off of whatever was available to us. <laughs> but, um, you know, like, I think that's one thing that's unrivaled is New York City and Halloween. Word. Uh, I think I mean, we got it. Pretty, I mean, I, I can't speak for now in these pre post Rona days, but uh, well, definitely yeah. in the, back in the day, yes, for sure. Yo, it was like you were guaranteed to see some kind of brawl. Some kind of gun being flashed. I remember vividly one night, me, me you, uh, uh, Mono, we were all chilling. We were drinking. I was dressed as a ladybug. Um, and I can, like, so clear as day. And so uh, it, 
if you've never been to Union Square Park, Union Square Park faces Whole Foods and it's this big uh, you know, street. It's like at like I think it's like four lanes. So it's it's huge, right? And uh I remember seeing one guy, I mean, like you know, there's a difference between someone running and actually booking it. Yeah. Like this dude was running for his fucking life. And I I think I looked over to you and I'm like, hey, what's that about? And as soon as I said that, I see another dude running, also like like T one thousand style, like hands up in the air. <laughs> but as he's as he's flashing up, he's got a full on pistol in his hand, running after this guy. And then I see an overweight officer chasing after that guy. So that just tells you what my experience with Halloween always was. No, no. It's never been violence. anything. Never seen. You know what? Never Actually, safe. this this kind of ties in the previous subject about seeing genitals because there is <laughs> no place I've seen more public nudity than the Halloween parade in New York. I mean, of course, in Saint yeah. Mark's. Oh, fuck yeah! Yep. The village. Yep. Uh, I, I mean, that's the birthplace of that kind of shit. It's a good time. I mean, I think the only place I've seen more balls is definitely <laughs> Castro Street in San Francisco, um, and it was literally like. I think I was like 14 and I remember like, I don't know why my parents like drove past there. Um, as we're passing the parade, uh, I see this dude completely uh, with uh, what what I know now as a cock ring and <laughs> completely painted in red with devil horns and just like just having the fucking time of his life. That's the freedom I want. I, I want everybody to have that freedom. I, I love how you said that you know it's a cock ring now, but like, what does your fourteen year old mind think it is? Because all you can think of is, oh, that's a ring on that guy's cock. Like, yeah, I can't imagine you being fourteen. Like, like, what is, what it is that crazy like, device? Like, <laughs> this, why does he have this like studded leather thing? Like, I had no idea what it was. If it was like he was born with it, did he come? Like, was it a part of the outfit? No, he was trying to make sure his dick was a wreck the entire parade. And did it? Ha- did it work? Yes. The man was erect. And if you've never been to San, uh, Castle Street on San Francisco on Halloween, at least when I was there in 2002, maybe 2003, uh, it was just as bad as St. Mark's. If not. I'll say that I've uh, I've never seen a fully erect penis that wasn't mine in real life. Mm, Same. Consider yourself like consider yourself. <laughs> No. Do you have a, a bunch of dick stories, Christian? Uh, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, you already you shared one. I was at EMT. Oh. Uh, so, I've so seen, people are I've, erect during emergencies? Sometimes. Yeah, uh, yeah. Quite often, actually. Uh, there's injuries <laughs> that cause... Uh, there's injuries that cause uh, uh, erections. There are um, certain... Uh, dead people get erections. Uh, there are also... There was also one guy, and I'll tell you this one. This is a good one. Um this man was uh, so I used to have to help people that were extremely diabetic. So they would be on renal failure. So their kidneys were failing. They would have to go to dialysis. Um, and more often than not, um, it, it's really one of those last ditch efforts when you put those people on that kind of stuff, because they're just going to keep going on it. Right. Um, right. And uh, it only gets worse, honestly. And, and that's not me trying to be, you know, bleak or anything, but you know, that's when you You'll get somebody's, uh, they'll lose their foot, then it becomes the leg, and then it comes up to half the thigh. So this one guy was blind because of diabetes, a double amputee up the thigh. So he couldn't, like, it, w- once you get to a certain point on your leg, you can't support yourself sitting. You'll just slide down and fall around all over the place. So we would, I, I don't laugh, Joey. <laughs> don't laugh. <laughs> so the poor man was like a stump. That's and uh, it was the worst thing in the world. But... I don't feel bad about you laughing or me laughing because every fucking time I would pick this guy up to take him to dialysis for some reason, he thought that was the moment to just whip his dick out and just start beating me. And I didn't understand it. I would literally have to say, sir, Mr. Garvey, sir, Mr. Gar, please, please rest in peace. I know he's gone, but like, (laughs) like literally every time. So yes, I've seen a lot of erect penises, and I've seen a, a, that weren't my own. Damn. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, against my will. That was, against my will. That, those tails were not as sexy as that. I thought you were just wearing a lot of gangbangs or something. I don't know. <laughs> but <apparently laughs> no, 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 you're sexy. It's not going to be a sexy thing. I'm not going to like be like, yeah, you know what? I was just, I just saw <laughs> like, I just Shmeet. pictured. I, was, I, just, I just pictured like you in a in a sex club with a martini, just watching people fuck, like, like watching <laughs> swingers fuck. No, and you're like, this is no, the I'm life. just watching. Yes, <laughs> I'm watching old old men that are blind and. uh uh, absolutely disabled, uh, just beating their meat. Like it was, it, and I've seen dead people with their meat up. So, you know, the meat up. Here I am. There's a reason why I have PTSD. It's from all the dicks. <laughs> traumatic stress dick syndrome. syndrome. <laughs> oh yeah, post traumatic stress dicks. <laughs> stress in the dick. No, uh, but yeah, no, that's uh, that's what I'm. Uh, I don't know. Halloween is a weird time. Um, I think uh, you shouldn't be forced to. You know what? Here's the here's the here's the happy medium, Joey. We create the technology. National Meat Treasure M- NMT copyright 2021 10:30. Uh, we create like lenses that block out balls. That's fire. <laughs> yeah, that's fire. Right? Yeah. That's a million dollar idea. Yeah. I mean, it, it, like, listen, if we could all get a little wind on our balls and and walk a little bit better. But we can prevent other people from seeing balls. Come on, man. It's a win-win. You just get like one of those like little fuzzy. Win for who? Like... These balls are glorious. I have a birthmark on my <laughs> balls. People need to see these things in the whoa, world. Whoa, 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 whoa. You, you have a birthmark on your balls? How, yes, how deeply do. do you look into your own balls? I want to ask that. I have a you lot know, of sex. Every... <laughs> I have whoa, a lot whoa, of sex on. and I jerk off I've, a lot. And I've never just a lot. lifted my nuts. Oh. <laughs> Everyone pisses. Off. I've never just grabbed my nuts and looked at. Like, Do you never shave your balls? Not off. <laughs> no, I'm an awful person. I try to get uh, these things very smooth. It's a very dangerous task, but you know, dangerous. it is too dangerous. Beauty way is too pain, dangerous. You know, you gotta uh, and itchy you gotta and itchy. It, you know, way too itchy. Yeah. I would love a Brazilian I, wax. I would love yo, to. Uh, dead ass. I always wanted to do that, are, but I'm afraid. So why don't we, what, do we know an esthetician? Do we know someone out there that's <laughs> listening to the pod that says, that wants to give the boys an all expense paid Brazilian wow. wax? Because I think all three of us recording ourselves getting wax is content and, and mighty good content. I, <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm down. I, 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 Let's I'm down. Do it. If what, it's for the what free, if, especially, if I, I'm down. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> if it's for, hell yeah. It's for me, wax me. Take all the hair. Really? <laughs> are you, are you like a, are you, are you not down with the hair anywhere? Like, no, are no, you not I mean, like. I'm, I'm, I keep it regular. I'm just a regular. Uh, like, I try to keep my balls smooth, you know. You know what I realized recently? And um, this might, this might tie into this, but I recently realized I'm a never nude. No. <laughs> Nobody knows what a never nude is? Yes, I've seen Arrested Development, people who are just never naked. So you shower with uh, jean shorts on? I feel like I should. I don't I don't <laughs> ever see I don't ever find myself in a position like other people will do where they're naked more often. Like I go, huh. I maybe the only time my underwear is off is between sex and the shower. That's about it. I don't know. I was like, naked before you got in this call. I, I literally came home from that's work. What I'm saying. Instinctively got naked. And then I was like, oh, wait, I'm podcasting in like 15 minutes. Yeah, let me. So I was like, let me eat this slice of pizza down. naked real quick, then put some clothes back on. <laughs> See, that, that seems dangerous to me. Like, I I, I wouldn't oh, be able is. to eat. That's the, that's the hot part. <laughs> that's oh, the hot food. You know? Oh, it is. Hot food <laughs> and me naked. Like, I feel like it's bound. It, something's. That is like, I've. I've grilled with a without a shirt and it felt dangerous enough like i was like okay yeah that's oh i fry things nude all the time it's a terrible idea but you know i love the thrill (laughs) (laughs) that's another reason why you can't just have your nuts out because like you can get hurt out there (laughs) imagine you gotta go to work somebody frying you're trying to get on the train like the yo the potential damage to your nuts trying to catch the four you well you know what exactly i agree with that because I want that to happen because I think natural selection is just not taking its course fast enough. 
I think a lot of people need their genitals ruined. I, we're, there's too many people. We've talked about this. Too many people. So, like, if people are just stop wearing pants and a lot of them lose their nuts because of it, I think uh, that's for the better of man. Yeah. Yeah, it would be. Is is pants the only thing that's saving us uh, from <laughs> like, this, think like, about that show, uh, that show? What's that show with fucking that dude? Wow, that was real specific. Uh, ridiculousness. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, with Rob. The yeah, one they, where they like should have been those, erased. Where it's basically America's home, funniest home videos, but with Rob Deerdeck for some reason. Yeah. Um. And the, the nut shots. Host. Okay, we don't have to bring her. Up. I, I love how you know there's more than one host. I did not know there was more than one. I I don't know the After other dude. A while there I became know. more than one, like in later seasons. Anyway, continue. But yeah, like the amount of nut shots I see on that show. Oh my god! From like, and I never like watch it on on purpose. Like right. I, at my old job, I would just play on the TV all the time. time, and I'd be like seeing these nut shots, and I'm like, half this shit was not like, you know, it's one thing if you're like walking on your lawn, you step on a rake, the rake pops up and hits you in the dick or something. Mm-hmm. But these are <laughs> most of these are on purpose. Like they're like, oh, let me just tase. I I watched this white boy one time tase himself for no fucking reason. Like, nobody asked him to do it. He just happened to have a taser and be really drunk, and he tased himself several times in the nuts. You just he has a child now. Plot. You just explained the he, plot to Jackass. Should. Yeah. That's all Jackass. Like, that's two hours right there. Thank you. It's Jackass, I get fuck with, though, because those guys are not and having you? children. No, wait, right. do they have children? I think Van right. does. Does he have children? I think he has one child. I'm gonna look it up now. Shout out to Bam. I feel uh, I feel for you. I feel like you're you're having a crisis still, and that's not cool. I mean, he's been having a crisis his whole life. Maybe, <laughs> maybe yeah, um, you know that's the wildest thing that he ended up looking like Phil. Yeah. Apparently, he has one child. I'm not sure the gender, but their name is Phoenix Wolf Margera. <laughs> what about John? Uh, I mean, <laughs> wonderful. And you see, this is why these people should not have children. Because you name your child <laughs> Phoenix Wolf. Phoenix That's Wolf. fire. Like, what if you're just a lame asshole? Like, and your name is Phoenix Wolf. <laughs> well, apparently, like, this like child the... is only three years old. So, this is a new child. Wow. You... Damn. Oh. Imagine. Oh, just... That's gonna suck, dude. Because, like, I mean, I don't he know how genetics in works, but form? like, I feel like if you would have had a child when he was like eighteen and a little healthier versus now forty something with years of stunts under his belt, like, there's no way like, that that kid's gonna be right. I mean, definitely the 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 best semen has already been weeded out of his system. So. <laughs> the best semen, just so <laughs> retire. The best sperm cells. Uh, yeah, the the ones that are left are are, are oh, not yeah, the sweaters. top quality. Yeah. No, they're not top quality. They're definitely <laughs> they're definitely just like you know running into a wall. Oh, whoa! I shouldn't have said that joke. Wait, is that no? He didn't run into a wall. Uh, I, did he? Uh, what's his name? Um, no. Uh, the dude that they all loved, Ryan uh, Dunn. Ryan, he got into a car Ryan accident. Dunn. He died in a car. Accident. It was a car accident, but not a wall. Not okay, a wall. cool. Yeah. Um, car, yeah. So I'm not insensitive. Sorry about that. Yeah. Um, what about, it, I feel like Johnny yeah. Knoxville probably got some kids. He, I don't think Johnny Knoxville has kids. Now I have to look it up. I feel like Steve O could have. I feel like I've heard Steve O's daughter, but like also that that's insane. If Steve O had a kid, because I know. He's yeah, he's he's lot. done a lot of things to his genitals. Uh, over the years, <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my god, fucking wait, Johnny Knoxville has three have... kids. You see what I'm saying? But their last wow. names are Clap. Oh, wait, what is Johnny Knoxville's real name? Oh, that is his real name, Philip John Clap with two P's, professionally known as Johnny Knoxville. He has three children, Madison, yeah. Rocco, and Arlo. Knoxville is a way better last name than Clap. Clap could be a fire uh, name cause... if you're a rapper, but like if when you're go- like growing up in high school, like. Hey, I'm John Clap. Like you're trying to talk to a girl, like his, and your name is John Clap. <laughs> you, Can you, you imagine never like every clip for you? <laughs> every freestyle battle that starts for a rapper named Clap is just like it, it's it's got to go there every time. You just got to like like God. Uh, I mean, gunnery. you could just come back with like they call me Clap because I shoot guns. I make it clap. <laughs> or oh, okay, you shoot guns. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I make it clap. I, no I, lo- I love that, like Joey said that, and his audio was super low for some reason. So it's like he whispered, "I shoot guns." No, <laughs> and shoot guns. I don't shoot guns. I murder people. Like that's what's what's the uh, the next confession coming out of Joey? Like he's just gonna like show his entire weapon room because uh, every man should have a weapon room. At least mm-hmm. doesn't have to be guns, but if you some have like lots of, of nunchucks or yeah. swords. 
You know, you I know, think um, we should have swords. You're right. Why don't we if go somebody back? Somebody would have told me this morning that you know I would end my day by looking at pictures of Johnny Knoxville's children. <laughs> Probably wouldn't have believed you, but no here I am way. scrolling through. Wow. Listen, uh, uh, I can't believe that he has children. I, I can't believe that this ever happened. I don't know why if we spent more than one minute talking about Johnny Knoxville's children. <laughs> um, Johnny Knoxville, fuck you. Um, get us on whatever you're doing because uh, we're funnier. Um, but I am exhausted. My brain is like fried, guys. Like, I think it's just a long fucking month. Like, I don't know if you guys are feeling this. Like, I think especially like this, like, so right now, um, the, the worst poison that could ever exist is community Facebook groups, uh, <laughs> like local community Facebook groups, uh, especially geared towards parents. Um, I feel like I should have just drank a bottle of bleach before I ever, ever joined these groups uh, because there are they're not they're not just like I'm not going to use the word toxic because it's more than that. It's absolutely abhorrent, like the, the shit that comes out of these people's mouths. I mean, you get you get all kinds of weird shit like right now. The big hot thing in in my area is that there's a school board uh, um election happening uh on the second of november and people are losing their fucking mind because they're uh they're they feel like a couple things are happening which is um something i want to pick your brains upon uh and i think we might have talked about this before but crt critical race theory right. um and and that's oh, examining edgy oh 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 uh, is that a good? You're in Pennsylvania. Christ? I already know this is going to be a. You a, know a, what it is, bro. <laughs> it, it, like, you know what it is, and and there is a strong, uh, you know, opposition towards it. Like, uh, it, like, uh, opposite, opposite from the people who are trying to remove CRT because they are starting to to teach it in the schools, and uh, a lot of these, uh, you know, conservative white, uh, parents are clutching their pearls because. Uh, they feel like their children shouldn't be indoctrinated or blamed for the mistakes of uh, their ancestors or people that look like them. And their children should be hung in public. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. I was in a school. I was where I lived right before uh, the last place I was at. In before I moved to Pennsylvania, I was in upstate New York, and there was literally uh, a whole thing that kind of just made me decide, like, I can't, like, keep my kid here in the district because it's like, if this is what's happening now, like, it's just it's just going to get fucking worse. Right. And what it was, it was a young man uh, who was, I think, 16, took a picture of his classmate who was a black female um, who I guess maybe she her hair was like frizzier that day or something like that. And. He said, this is why all these N-words should be lynched. That and was two years was ago. to move to Pennsylvania. I thought this area was a little better. No, but no, it isn't. <laughs> it's much, much worse. It's, uh, it is, it is, I was so fucking, and you know what it was? It was, you know, like, I can... I'm not going to say I would excuse uh, someone saying that, at, especially at that age, but more so like I can, I can see that that person still has a lot of life to kind of correct himself and maybe look at oh, that. Oh no, they like, don't. Yo, that was a I shitty give white people thing. no leeway at all whatsoever. You <laughs> <dogs>. So, <laughs> well, uh, so again, I say that with 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 a grain of salt. But what was worse was like the 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 parents being like. Oh, they say worse on the bus. They say they say this, that, and the third. What do you want the kids to say? They all say it in music. Like, no, you just like that what child. Music? What music are you listening to? I've been, <laughs> I listen to some vulgar shit, and I've never heard somebody say somebody should be lynched because their hair exists. Exactly, and you know it. It is gone. And it, this that was 2019. Like that was not you know 20 years removed. That wasn't 30 years. That wasn't 100. That was. Now I'm going to go on on three years. Right. Mm -hmm. But like, it, it's just which, what, like, I can't understand, like, when I see these parents, like, feel so, like, vehemently against it because it isn't looking at it. They, they feel like it's 
at one point it's going to be the fingers pointing right back at them and i don't understand Bring back how you segregation that. dude i'm pro segregation 100 percent. i don't do not want to be around seg- white people at i don't all. want segregation segregation desegregation was the worst thing that ever happened to black people besides slavery it was a horrible thing. We should have never desegregated. We should have stayed in our own neighborhoods to ourselves, circulating our own money. That's what, what desegregation was for. It was for money. So white people can have their white businesses move into black neighborhoods and destroy them. And also the government destroyed it. So, yeah. No, I don't. I don't. People are like, oh, what do you think about critical race theory? And I say, like, white people are dogs. And people look at me like, haha, you don't mean that. No, I do. I've been black for 34 years. <laughs> I don't like your kind. You don't like me. So, like, let's just separate. Like, fucking Lord of the Rings, bro. You don't see the elves and the dwarves intermingling. No, they have their whole separate islands and they only come together because, oh, Who's damn, this crazy motherfucker has a ring that's going to take over the world. So I guess I'm going to fuck with these niggas. And even then, they don't really fuck with each other. It's like, let's just separate. That's why I'm in Detroit, baby, because I don't see white people at all. And then when I do, they fuck it up every time, bro. My job is 30 minutes outside of Detroit in uh, (laughs) Rochester Hills. If anybody is listening and knows where Rochester Hills is, you probably already made the, oh, Uh, damn, nigga, you out there (laughs) type noise. I only work with white people. And, bro, the amount of fucking Biden. And I, I, I avoid, like I said, Oh, My so thing bad. about white people is why I treat white people like dogs. You are, um, you know, and it's guilty to proven innocent. I'll, I'll take it on a case by case basis. I don't like dogs. Uh, if you're a cool dog, you're a cool dog. If you're not a cool dog, I'm, I'm going to go into this situation assuming you're not cool. So I go in these situations and I have to work with these people. So I'm shooting yeah. the breeze and I'm just talking about, I don't fucking know, like it's super I, it's fucking cheese. I'll be talking about yeah. fucking butter or something. And then somebody will slip a man, I miss Trump in there. And I'm like, motherfucker, can you what shut up? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm in my black ass city right now in my moments. Uh, I don't spend my weekends around any, any, any white people. Although did see a guy at the club the other day. So every weekend there's one guy, one white guy, there's two white guys. No, let me think. So at the, if I work the club on Saturday and Sunday, there's that one super old white guy who's always there for some reason, even though the whole club is very black. <laughs> he's just some super old. His name is Nick. He's like, he came with me last week. He's like, I've been coming here for 34 years. I miss when they had live music, but this is nice. And they'll start doing the watch who see it amigo. <laughs> <laughs> and then like, there's always just like another random white guy. Like it's just a white guy I've never seen before. And this one guy yeah. goes on, c- comes in white as hell looking like, fucking i don't know uh like tim the toolman taylor but with like a no not tim the toolman taylor the other guy <laughs> oh al borland sh- yeah al borland the same show sure. looking like him but he's like in the club and he got a, has a shirt on that says proud to be african <laughs> no okay i didn't know what was going on there but i was just like you know what i <laughs> I can't technically kick you out yet, so <laughs> like, I guess I'm... I'll just let you be here. He was having a good time, though. He was just <laughs> drinking and getting twerked on because he was the only white guy who would dance. He was the only I mean, guy who would dance. And he had that shirt. I mean, that's that takes a lot of balls. But yes, uh, for all race questions, I will literally just say segregation because I am I have spent... Dude, you know, like, I turned... When did I... When was Obama? It was 2008? So from 2008 yeah. to fucking 2020, 2020 mm-hmm. I have been seeing white people act up all types of ways between oh, yeah. Obama and fucking Trump. Oh, yeah. So I'm done. Yo. I'm checked out. Especially Unless you're at Fred the Durst. Of, <laughs> <laughs> or Corey Taylor. Um, especially <laughs> at the end of Obama's uh, presidency. Like, they were just acting a fool. Like, the whole fucking time. Like, I the mean, they did the whole time. Much. You, the oh, whole you time, know what it is, though. I was, was in bad. Pennsylvania the whole time. You weren't. <laughs> no, I, I guess I guess that's what it was. I started moving up to sticks at the at the end of the the presidency, and I started seeing people. Lit- I saw this honky, and I mean honky, mm-hmm. um, literally right on the dust of his window car. Like you know, when your your car yeah. just accumulates pollen and shit. Yeah. No Obama with his finger. Like, you fucking hillbilly. You didn't even <laughs> fucking try. Like, you had to put it into the dirt. That is a perfect example of who you are. Like, you're just... You know what's crazy, too? I remember, like, you know, you know, 
aging myself here. But I remember during the Bush era, I remember it was pretty taboo to talk about your political affiliations. And then once Obama yeah. came, white people were like, no, fuck that <laughs> nigga. Yo, OD, and then it just better. kept... Yep, yeah, they just kept getting louder and louder throughout the years, and then Trump being elected did not help. So oh, I'm quiet about my uh, political affiliations because you ever notice? I'm, a, I'm I'm basically a radical terrorist. I'm a Black Panther. Yeah. <laughs> At this like, point, like you ever notice, like the right, they, like. All they ever do, I can't say all they ever do, but they're really good at trying to come up with like slogans and shit, like as if that's what makes them smarter and superior. You're like, blah, blah, oh, blah, 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 simple climate people. change, we're going to die. And they're like, um, no Obama, am I right? Hardy, har, 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 <laughs> you know, and then they're like, and that's, that's our ideology and stance. That's our platform. That's our platform. That's what we are. Like, yeah. Climate no, change, I mean, you're deranged. Also, what is the... Uh, <laughs> I never know, like, what is the, maybe, have we talked about this in the pod? What is the, what are they gaining from denying climate change? Yo, I don't get it. Right? Well, like, it's, it's very easy, right? Uh, you have, um, not only do you have private sector well, no, jobs that are still start, aside. Before you start, I, I don't mean the billionaire companies lying about climate change. I mean, like, average Joe works at the gas station. Well, that's what, who doesn't that's what I mean. Change. Because the, the misconception is that they think that their jobs are going to disappear, right? So if they work in fuel or if they work somewhere around it, that they think all of a sudden that they will be out of a job. And that's not an inherently true, right? Uh, but the other part is is that they don't feel... At least the people who are talking about it are authority enough and that they feel like they shouldn't be told what to do because it's a, it goes to guys who fucking have F-150s who want to rip out the catalytic converter and fucking just have it fucking leaking literally black fucking fumes into the air and saying there's no way that my one truck like no yeah your one truck is not fucking destroying all of our environment but right. all of you dickheads combined with the fucking shit that corporate companies already do fucking kills it yeah so yes uh and then you got like you know like it was the same thing uh with the keystone pipeline yeah. like it was it was a big thing like you have people like oh now you fuckheads we we got more expensive gas uh, not detailing the fact that we've had hurricanes and earthquakes happening in places where we get a third of our fuel. Um, sorry. Um, but like you, you, you get to that, like it, it is ridiculous. Like, what do you get from this? And, and I worked in clean energy for a while. Like I worked with solar and I got, I would hear the same shit and it would be, I don't believe in that shit. And, and, and it's just like this, just closed offness and it's because maybe they heard a pundit say it or there's somebody they know talk about it negatively but they just don't think it's working or happening or gonna do anything like there there would be measures for people because every state is a little different that like they would basically pay you to have solar panels on your house and it would still be like what like that that it doesn't exist what are you talking about? That's never going to happen. It's not going to happen in my lifetime. Mm -hmm. And that it's this, like, I think that's what it is. It circles back to selfishness, right? Like you, you don't, you only see, um, life in the immediate that you're, you're in your lifetime. You're only looking at that. You're not concerned with what the people after you, your children, your grandchildren, or if you don't even have kids, your fucking grand dogs or whatever, the, 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 the entire living force needs to have something to live on. And well, I had literally a man run out of his house as I was talking to his wife. I was like, Hey, listen, you know, we're this is solar energy. This is what it's about. This is what we can do. And the man came out in his tidy whities half dead and said, you know what they need to do? They need to get those guys back in the coal mines. He said that without like, any sarcasm in his voice and shut the door on me. Like, I don't know if you guys know about this. There aren't any coal mines left. Like, <laughs> I, like <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. Like, you don't have people even trained to know what to do with coal mines anymore. Like, you just can't be that dense. Like, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's, that's a question White for the people are dogs. Uh, it's, it's, Listen, man. it's really funny when you think about it. It's like, you know, you think you're going to lose your job. It, you are. Yeah. You're going to 
You're going to also lose your life. You won't have to worry about work anyway when you die. <laughs> I wish I could be around for when just like, you know, the planet is just, you know, it's it's suffering. It's going to just all fuck up. And then, you, you know, it's just going to increase. You know, eventually we'll, you'll see more of these crazy floods or these crazy things. And eventually we'll live in a planet like that movie Waterworld or some shit in like, I think. Hold like, on. Like Dune, you know. Kevin Costner like, with gills and fins. <laughs> We're going to live there. It was crazy. Okay, I, I believe it. Yeah, that's I want it. Dude, I think about extinction <laughs> all like, the time. Like when the whole world is a fucking desert, and it's like y'all niggas have to like try to walk five miles to try to find some water. Like you mm-hmm. gonna you gonna still you bad know, backs it. You're gonna say, uh, oh yeah, that that climate change shit isn't real. I don't believe it. This scientist who's telling me that you know this is gonna happen, they're not author- They're not scientisty enough for me to believe them because I know everything there is to know about scientists. Like, cause it, 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 listen, man, crazy. it goes further. It, you get people just writing on their train of self righteousness. I, uh, also... I was watching this podcast where, so this, this podcast called the Wild Times Podcast. I talked about it on here before, and yeah. the podcast centers around uh, Forrest Galante and his crew, who are like, uh, you know, wildlife conservationists, explorers, whatever, mm-hmm. and um. Your face is so weird. How high are you right now, Joe? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not really that high. I'm just. <laughs> Your face is just like floating through the camera. But anyways, um. Yeah, my so yeah, there was a so Forrest has like a, a a bunch of shows on Discovery Channel or Discovery Plus, whatever. Okay. And on one of them, he was talking about his podcast where the show is about um. There's like this sheet of ice over Greenland that's melting. Okay. And it's melted like four miles and like revealed new, you know, land. Oh, shit. And the show was about them exploring this new four miles of land. Wow. But they had to do this entire show without talking about the reason behind this land existed in the first place, which is global warming. Right. Like this sheet of ice has existed right. for thousands of years. Right. And now it's slowly like peeling back. And they had to like do the whole show without saying it because the network was like, oh, well, it's a divisive topic. How the fuck is it divisive, bitch? I'm standing on land that didn't exist yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> it's melting, bro. This shit is literally melting. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. Yeah, and, and it's, it's immediate. Like, I mean, you've got Miami having to deal with literally having to raise the city like every so many years because like the tide is just getting higher and higher and higher. I mean, there's pictures like all around the world, like what it, what this stuff is like what is being done because uh, uh, of the overconsumption of beef, the over, the the overuse of fossil fuels, like all the shit that we love and love doing. And I get it. Like, there's a lot of satisfaction in those things, but it's like there, there's a consequence to all of it. I mean, when you've got uh, guys in the rainforest in Brazil setting like setting acres and acres of land on fire to make more room for hamburgers. I like hamburgers, but Dude, I don't, you know I don't think I, I get like <laughs> I don't get there's so many things in history where like I, I should write a book just based on like things in history that I don't get that we discovered and <laughs> kept going and kept going. And yeah, one yeah. of those things definitely is like when we figured out that the dinosaurs were did you know I'm not going to look this up, but I'm pretty sure it was this mm-hmm. the the meteor that extincted all the dinosaurs, right. the whole planet of dinosaurs was only six miles long when it like made contact with with Earth. Six miles okay. long. Six miles long. So that's all it takes is a six mile long rock to build up enough dust to block out the fucking sun and kill our entire species. How the fuck did we discover that and go, you know what? Let's go to, let's, you know what? Cause you know what? You know what would be crazy too? It's like, not only did we discover it, we were like, you know what? Let's put this in books. Let's teach it to children. And we're just going to continue as if that shit couldn't happen again. Like, what? <laughs> I would be absolutely vibing. Like, if I think society should have stopped there. Like, if we could just... <laughs> uh, a girl I follow on TikTok, she had a kind of a thought the same way that was very extreme. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to think like her, but I think a lot of society should. Where she was like... <laughs> she's got, like, two kids and a husband. And she's like, last night I couldn't sleep. Because I just thought about the fact that, like, if we're all sleeping, we're all unconscious at the same time. And, like, 
who the fuck thought this was a good idea? This is very scary. <laughs> like, why is there, like, what, like, there's so many things going to happen. And I don't want people to think that extreme, but I feel like we need to be more present in the fact that, like, we're alive now and we very quickly could not be. And, yeah. you know, things just, things just suck. Everyone's stressed. Everyone's yeah. tired. Everyone's back hurts. I don't, I don't get why we're doing anything. And I don't get how we discovered the dinosaurs died in a second. Bro, I couldn't kill a T-Rex. I couldn't. Nothing in my body could kill a T-Rex. Like, I couldn't bring harm to this thing with anything in my life. And yet, you also probably rock from the sky anything. took out billions of them. Mm-mm. Billions. Billions. Was there billions? Was there billions? I, I think. Let's Google that real quick. How many dinosaurs <laughs> existed? Just like... <laughs> At any given time. Um... <laughs> No, uh, you're right. I mean, there's a futility to all of it all, right? There, you know, we, there's a, but there's something that I guess carries us a little forward so we can uh, fake our way into the rest of the week and be like, ha ha, I'm living. Like, but I, I don't know, man. It's, um, I don't know how humans in this day and age can look at all the facts that they know and still like be like, content with like well it's just happening fuck it like i don't know that's just that's I not me i don't believe it it's not real hold on one second i don't believe it there were not that many dinosaurs okay hold on the first results i like to go to a few google results before i pick one but it said there's only twenty thousand dinosaurs that existed at any one time that's crazy. which is a very small number very but small. still damn those things had mad food like the ones who ate grass and shit, like good for them. They had a <laughs> world of vegetation. At their peak, how many dinosaurs roamed Earth? Whatever, agree. I'm on sciencefocus.com. Um, let's see, there are around a thousand different. Did you say 20,000? Yeah. Yeah, that was That's the first result, but I like, to, I like to go through a few on Google before I. Uh, Make your conclusion. See, now I'm seeing 20 million. No, that's saying bison. <laughs> I hate shit like that. <laughs> how, how did you get to 20 million bison? <laughs> I don't know. It's difficult to calculate the exact population of these large, large reptiles based on our limited fossil record, but there are some factors we can look at. And then it goes... Read more. Oh, yeah. Read, click the little read more button. I don't know. This this website's crap. Let's just let's just split the difference between twenty thousand and twenty million. <laughs> right. I let's mean, just say like five million. It's a big planet. Lots of room. Lots of space. I don't. Lots that, of grass. Lots of grass. <laughs> you, I I really do appreciate you, Joey, looking on the bright side for those plant eaters or herbivores. You were like, damn. Lots of grass. Shout out bro. to them. Lots of grass. Shout out to them. Yo. Do you think cannabis existed during the times of dinosaur? If it did, like, I was there Jurassic was weed? It. Jurassic, uh, weed. Jurassic weed. <laughs> I actually did look up something like this once before. What was I watching? It was somebody asking if, like, like if the Brock. Where did I get this information from? I know why. What? what do, I don't know. Somebody was basically asking somebody, like, did what vegetables existed during like the the you know, the Mesoic era or whatever. Right. And what to now. And basically they were saying that like, obviously like the vegetation is different now, but um, essentially like maybe, you know, broccoli didn't exist back then, but like a cousin of broccoli definitely did. Yeah. That's so a cousin of marijuana could have existed. Yeah. That makes sense. Right. Like, like a cousin of broccoli. Hops is a cousin to weed. Big cousins. They, yeah, they are. Um, I mean, there's a lot of, you know, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with that one because, like, I, I don't know where I can. Like, dinosaurs getting high was probably the the peak for it for me. <laughs> uh, but, <laughs> uh, you know, I, I will bring it back to um, nothing. I don't know, man. I am like, you know what it is? I I'm burnt. Like I told you guys, I'm like kids be doing that to you. They woke me up at five o'clock in this this damn morning. I I get woken up with a uh, uh, infant's butt slamming into my face um, every morning. Yeah, she just goes, 
boom. Like, and I'm like, ah, I love it. This is what I want. <laughs> this is this what I my want. life. I did it. For the rest of my life. <laughs> and, you, and you tried for that, too. You didn't just have oh, a child. You were, you were oh, trying. Oh, I tried. No, no, I didn't try for number two, actually. Did I, did yeah, I, did you I ever tell you about like eight months and then you stopped because you... of Rona and then you got her pregnant? Yeah, the outfit got me. Okay, <laughs> it wasn't, I wasn't trying, it was just what she was wearing because I have a thing for Im- administrative women in pencil skirts and, and high tech. I think it's because I really love Stacey Keebler, um, <laughs> as a young man, and uh, I might have just wanted to. Keep that fantasy for the rest of my life. Um. Okay, but like, I don't, I don't, I don't think I could see an outfit that would make me want to come in somebody. I've never seen like an outfit that was like, yes, she deserves my seed. I, I have seen, I, I see outfits like that every day. You've never seen a maxi dress, mm. my brother. Oh. You never seen a sundress. Mm. I mean, it makes me want to have like, sex with them. I'm, like, fin- I'm still going to pull out and sh- shoot it across the room or just uh, pull a hotel uh, and not come at all. I want, it, <laughs> I want it to come out of their nose and their eyes. They're going to be the craziest, the most Boston of creams. Wait, hold most on. Most Boston do, of creams. Do, 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 oh, hold on. I, I need to get an authority on this. Do hoteps believe they won't come? Yeah, do they not? Are they anti nut? Yeah, they like st- hold it in and store. Some of them do. You know, like the semen retention. We talked about this though, right? I didn't, we talked oh, wait, about for, semen retention. No. I didn't know. Ho- we talked about this. I, so so I have a theory, folks, folks out there listening. I don't think porn addiction exists. And if it ah. does exist, I'm pretty sure that there is more addiction to talking about semen retention than there is porn addiction in the world. Because every podcast mm-hmm. ha- that has like more than a man on it has talked about the benefits of semen retention and then like niggas this really podcast like had it. but yes. this podcast so had think... it but yeah you know why that is bro that's because there were so many guys who at one point Fucking in their life butt. was just like bro i just can't stop jerking off i just can't fucking stop doing it i've had and those. they were you know what I think it jerking is? off and jerk it off and then i don't think finally, it was that finally when like someone was able to stop for like a week they were like yo i didn't jerk off for a week and i was finally able to mow my lawn and clean my house it was amazing yeah, i made a friend and and I think that's how, <laughs> I think that's how it started. Hold on, can you imagine porn addiction prior, like when it was just magazines? Oh my god, that's so that's messy. Awful. That is messy. You know what I think it is? I think a lot of guys so um, are failing at life, and they don't want to really directly blame their own actions, so they just blame their dicks. They go, "Oh, I'm just jerking off too much. That's why I'm a failure." So if I just don't come for 65 days. I'll fucking do stuff. And really, like, you could have probably just did this stuff anyway and also jacked off, but you... Not, you know, it's probably... Like, I'm sorry, but, like, like, like when do most dudes jack off? Like, right before they go to bed? And, like, 20 minutes before you go to bed? Like, it's it's not changing your life. I promise you. It, <laughs> it might have been the, you know, that post-nut nap. They might have been, like, middle of the day. And it just kept fucking up their day. Like, fuck, I keep jerking off and laying down it's three o'clock waking up at 3 20 and i'm late for work and you know now i'm tired and i'm gonna just make it sticky i'm gonna just go eat some uh eat some oreos and then make a sandwich uh, and all right Joey, all right you didn't have to just again. explain my whole corona to everybody just now <laughs> you really just did just jerk it off at three o'clock and then make a nap and be like oh shit i'm late for work but it doesn't really matter because i can't do anything anyway <laughs> But it's that was pleasure. the whole Listen, shutdown for me. Just it's three o'clock. We don't have it. masturbation. What do we have? I mean, if you take that most basic necessary need, give me masturbation. What do we have? Or give me that. I mean, we have a lot of things Hell besides yeah. masturbation. I could, I could uh, cut back on jerking off for sure, but I'm not going to. But... You can cut back. I, like, uh, what's what's the what's the number are we talking He's about? Like, what is <laughs> Let's not discuss that. But also, before we like trail off and turning off again, um, are we getting Sammy on? Is she like ready to go? Oh shit! Uh, I have no idea. Uh, she unfortunately uh, was having troubles with her Wi-Fi. It wasn't connecting because uh, she's at a wedding. Uh, she was g- gonna show up all dolled up, and I said, "Do it so you can be, uh, uh, you know, a a light Adele, if you will." Uh, but it's uh, no, I don't know. She, I think she might be having connectivity issues. So we'll, uh, uh, you know, I'll figure out what we can do. Maybe Sunday we can talk to her uh, this week and 
hopefully she's in a better situation she uh like admitted this morning she's like i'm really sorry i completely forgot but she's like i know i can step out but i guess the i guess wedding halls don't have the best uh wi-fi wi-fi that's no problem. But just for the fans listening, yeah, we were supposed to have a guest on. I was going to announce it earlier, but I, I kind of had a feeling she wasn't going to be on because uh, I uh, was on her Instagram story like before we got on here, and she was like at a wedding. And Sammy Ray on uh, Spotify is it S is it two eyes on Spotify? Yeah, two eyes. S A M M M I I or just I? No, I have it on my phone. S A M I I R A E on Instagram. We know that for a fact. Yeah. So at S A M I I R A E, Sammy you Ray get dropping list. a new hit single, "Privacy" for uh, those who love that toxic R and B. Um, she was supposed to be on. And I kind of knew she wasn't because that bitch loves Casamigos, and I saw her at the wedding like as I was pulling up. So I was like, "Oh, she's not gonna be on. There's no way. Ain't no way." Bro. I love. You know what? I'm I'm gonna say this, but I love when edge kids just abandon the edge <laughs> edge lifestyle Yo. like there's something so no, amazing about it like when 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 like i see like like joey like you, you're a good example like yes, you, you know am. you had you, you, you were a kid xed up and then like a few years later you've got a butt in your mouth i'm like oh like, what the okay fuck? you you got it like, you got I it you understand yo speaking drugs. of drugs speaking of drugs so tell me how this old white guy comes up to me at work he's probably like late 60s this guy comes up to me at work and goes completely out of context there's we're just like fixing the machine we're talking doing our mechanic shit he walks up to me he goes so you live in detroit right and i was like yeah he's like are 51 still popular i was like what's a 51 and well let me ask you guys do you know what a 51 is no no what the fuck He's like, well, a 51 is, uh, you know, when you take a joint and you put a line of coke in it and smoke it. That used to be real popular back in the 90s in my day. That's and I'm just like sitting there wondering why he's asking me this. Because like, we're like, what the fuck? <laughs> he's like, it was mad out of pocket. Like, why would you? I, you know that white man is term? living. 51. That white man is living. He's like, yeah, he y'all, grows weird. Y'all, y'all still hit the, uh, y'all, y'all still put the coke in the blunts? No, no, <laughs> no, no. Uh, you don't want I mean, any coke? I, I mean, guess people like, did that over here, except it wasn't coke. It was a uh, fucking PCP. PCP. Yeah, wet. Smoking that. Yeah, wet. no, that was <laughs> that was a big thing. Angel dust. Um, uh, you know what? Can we talk about like cool drug names? And yeah. Angel Dust has to be the coolest like drug name oh, out there, right? Hell yeah. Like, I mean, obviously what it, what it, the end result was not cool because people did look really haggard, haggard on that shit. But like, I think I would be pretty proud to say, yeah, I'm going to go smoke some angel dust, angel like angel with my friends, dust, like crack. How about crack? Like, did, did crack need to drop the cocaine to become crack or was it better crack cocaine? Well, I don't know. I'm just like looking up what a 51 means. Apparently a 51 could mean a lot of things. Uh, crack. <laughs> this nigga's a crackhead. Yo, he was trying to get I mean, you. He's really short. I don't know. Maybe he's rock. smoking crack. He was like, "Hey, you." He was uh, trying to get you. You want to come smoke some? Hey, crack? hey, young blood, want some? Uh, want some crack? Yeah, that's exactly what. Hey, young blood. That's another thing that just went out of style. I, I, you know, I miss when an old black man would call me young blood. Hey, young blood. <laughs> Hey, they still good. do. They don't you call just me not around black people anymore because you. I'm you, not you, around you, black people anymore. That's the problem. You segregated you know, yourself for some reason. I I went from like being in one of the most blackest neighborhoods ever. Like Queensbridge, Queensbridge. is so Muslim and black, and was one of the as dangerous as it was all the time. It was one of the best times I've ever had because uh, I love seeing all the Muslim brothers like uh, trying to sell me bean pies <laughs> and. Um, they were always cool as hell. Everybody look out for each other. Yeah, I miss it. Maybe I got. Maybe I just gotta. Maybe that's what I gotta do. We're moving back to Queensbridge, kids. I don't again. Don't know. I've been clowning you for living in the fucking forest for years now. It just. I just got out, and I don't ever want to go back unless it's to see my child, who's probably a redneck. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man. I don't think she's redneck. She she uh. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, don't she's, know she's definitely going to have like issues with her blackness growing up. I I already see it. Her whole family's white. I have no family. She just got me and she's just like, 
Yeah. You're strange, Dad. No, I'm actually the coolest person you will ever be in your entire life, kid. Yeah. But you don't know that yet. Wait till you're wait till you're wait till you're like in your twenties. You'll figure it out. Yeah. Because her mom is super not cool. <laughs> oh. It happens, bro. And, and sometimes her mom's just a mom, gotta... but her mom her mom's not cool. You know, her mom's not like cool. Yeah. You know, like, I, like I'm cool. Like I'm the cool dad. Yeah. Maybe I'm not cool. Why am I talking like this? <laughs> You know, you just prove that you're not cool by talking exactly like that. Cool. Yeah. Um, uh, we're going to go well, with. You know what? I'm, bl- I'm black, so I'm literally cooler than the entire state of Pennsylvania, essentially, except for Philly. <laughs> no, you're definitely still a little cooler than Philly. Yeah, Philly's getting real white. Uh, if you have any Philly listeners, so out white. There, uh, tell us. Tell us how white it's getting out there because I feel like Philly, the first time I went to Philly was like 2011 and it was so fucking black. And like, it was, I thought it was in Atlanta. And then <laughs> as the years rolled by, I just, I saw them less and less, or I would only see them more in the worst areas. And I was just like, damn, I used to see y'all everywhere. What are you doing here? I don't know. <laughs> What's up with you guys? Uh, Philly's getting, why don't you move to Philly? Like Philly's a cheap city to live in. There's still there still is black people, and your your child will not grow up as a redneck. I don't know. Philly's kind of gross though. As a city, I mean, yeah, all disgusting. all major cities are gross. Also, like you, you're from no, New York. New York bro. City is not as gross as Philly. No, Philly's- no. Here's my thing. Here's my thing. When I moved to Pennsylvania, everyone would tell me in Pennsylvania how much they hated New York. And I never understood it until like I finally got a car and drove back. And I was like, oh, I can see how people could hate this. I don't. Yeah. But I can totally see why people think this is disgusting now. But, I mean, I choke on fresh air in Pennsylvania. So, But, like, Philly, way nicer than, like, as far as, like, in, like in, even, like, Contra, like, move to, like, one of the suburbs in the out in the outskirts, Contra Hawking. Like, you, like I said, you overcorrected and went to the super deep woods for some reason. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, it's, I don't know, man. Uh, I, we've been talking about it, but you know, uh, we, we kick it back and forth, figuring out where we're going to go because, you know, this isn't the final stop for us, but wherever it is, uh, it definitely, uh, I hope it's the cake business would bust. If you lived in Philly, your child would be raised around people that are not white. Um, (laughs) which I would love, which would be cool. Also, like, there's just not a big, like, that's like one of the things that tells me a a white person is going to be fucking shit. I'll ask them their opinions on, on various cities. And if they tell me they're scared of them or like they think they're gross, I'm like, oh, you're about to be. There's only one reason you could think this city is gross. Like, a be- yeah. like when somebody, people say like, oh, I haven't been to Detroit in forever. I'm like, I know. I've driven around I Michigan, know. bro. Like there's, this is the, this is the shining star and I could die outside. <laughs> so like the shining star of fucking Michigan. There's fucking beautiful murals everywhere. All this art, all these things to do. And like you just avoid Detroit, uh, something's up there. I mean, yeah. I some, feel like, some, I don't know. Some Detroit's some definitely had a resurgence. <laughs> Jeff, Detroit's no, definitely Detroit's getting resurgence. gentrified as fuck, too. But, um, you know, it's oh, is it? It's looking cool in the process. Oh, yeah. Every, everywhere is because the white people are diseased and they're, spread, they're spreading. Why? 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 But I don't know. I because think... they're walking around in pencil skirts and niggas are busting inside of them. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a good way to end this episode right there. Uh, because if I just contributed, I guess here I am. Um, God damn. Um, <laughs> At least when I busted in a white woman, I, I talked to my jeans and I was like, make them dark, make her dark. Give her that kinky curly hair. Uh, my kid came out fucking white as hell. But he's got <laughs> yes. um, my, both my kids just, uh, you know what? It is what it is. Hey, Joni's jeans really just like beat your ass. I don't know what happened there. They look like me. They just got her. Uh, your daughter looks exactly like you. I was looking at a picture of my phone the other day. I was like, that's fuck. Because now that I look at you every day, I'm like looking at her. I was like, oh, that is definitely crazy. That's my little heart. Joni is, uh, uh, Jackson is Pierce Brosnan's child, I think. That that kid is like <laughs> weirdly handsome. <laughs> he's very handsome. He's, 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 he's got a like, tight cleft chin and he just has a great <laughs> smile. Like he always... He's just, you know what? Uh, uh, I got lucky. It could be worse because uh, kids can be really terrible. And uh, my two uh, probably changed my mind on a lot of that. But uh, 
yeah, I think that's a good uh, good way to end the, this uh, this episode. Tight pencil skirts. Uh, <laughs> don't wear them around your husband if you don't want him to empty the clip. Um, <laughs> Uh, because you will end up with a child like me uh, after like li- there was this wait when I said I'm not gonna have we're not gonna try we're we're done with that not even a month later and keep in mind folks this man has been saying the his entire the entire duration of his daughter's life his second child that he's going to get a vasectomy and he hasn't so there's a third on the way <laughs> Can you shut the fuck up? Because I hate you. <laughs> like I have to fend off that that attack every day. Like it is a war that I have to be like, no, no more. And I, I get, I'm gonna go down. Just gonna listen to this and, and know exactly what gets you: the pencil skirts, the Stacy, no, the Stacy no, no, you, cosplay. You, you, you know what you're gonna do is you're gonna be a good friend and come over to your, uh, come over this way to the East Coast, and we're gonna go. To get me a vasectomy, you're going to drive me back home because I don't think I'll be able to tolerate it. For a second, I was like, is he going to ask me to impregnate his wife? <laughs> I don't know why. I thought my brain was going there. <laughs> that if you're a good friend, you're going to come Um <laughs> It's so late. I don't know what's yeah, going on. Yeah, I, th- I think we're done. I think we're done. I think, I think, I think we're absolutely done. We are. We, are, we don't need that. that if- Absolutely not. Image, uh, just too much, man. That is, that is, morning, top I hope. Morning, top of the morning, top I don't, of the I don't, I don't know what to say no more. Morning. This has been the National Meat Treasure, uh, with your host who has been violated and his mind is now going into the worst place possible. I don't know what to do, man. I feel broken right now. And just like you are, it's possible. God, I love this podcast. <laughs> um, I don't know what to do, man. I feel broken right now, and just like you are. Yeah, man. Sammy, we'll probably have Sammy on the podcast uh, next oh, time. So, Sammy, we'll probably have Sammy on the be podcast, on else's uh, podcast next time. Uh, so, Auntie's Toy um, Box oh, with host sick. Bree Blazing. That'll be. I'll be on there November seventh. Hey! I think we're recording somewhere in the morning. I don't know when she airs her shit, but uh, it's it. I guess it started nice. as a a podcast about like people talking about their adventures with sex toys, but she's kind of like inconsistent with it. So she's just like whatever. Like yeah. we can just talk about whatever whatever's uh on on deck. I do have a funny sex toy story. I think I told in the group chat the other day. So maybe I'll bust it out on Auntie's toy box. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's but yeah, everybody like, subscribe, rate that five stars, support black business, black women, because she's also Ooh. black. Uh, uh, no um, pun intended. Link in bio? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll put that. We'll, we'll drop the link in the bio. And uh, once again, remember to subscribe and uh, like our own stuff and make sure to rate us on Apple Podcasts. We will be, we are on all podcasting platforms that you uh, consume podcasts at. We are deeply appreciate all the, the, the greatness because I think we're, we're around episode 30 today. You're right. And Halloween <laughs> is around the corner. Maybe I'll wear my costume for the podcast. Who knows? Peace. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was a good hard Deuces. <laughs> That's right.